What is happening guys, Cold Dew Black Caps Kid here, coming at you with another video on how to download Minecraft 4K. Here we go. Optifine.net, link will be in the description. We're going to go kind of through this quick, click on previous versions, and download the highest one that you can possibly get. Uh, that's my recommendation, you can always do the ultra, but this is the way I've always known to do it. It's the highest setting. Hit deny, wait for the... Uh, skip ad to pop up in the right hand corner. Don't click anything on the screen. You could get a virus Go on skip ad hit the link download it I've already downloaded it, but I'll still download it for your uh, recommendations here So you click on download it'll say harmful file. It's just because it's a weird file go ahead and hit keep I've been running this for a couple years now and uh, No problems here whatsoever so next thing is if you don't have Java, you want to go ahead and download Java. So go to Java, go to Oracle. This can take a while to set up. So this is one of the things that is a little bit more of the time consuming ones. You can download it, open it, make sure it goes in. Because this next part, you'll want to go to your downloads or wherever that file went. Click on it, go with open or open with. Make sure you're going on the Java platform. Once there, you'll see it pop up. Just hit install. That's where your app data will go so you can actually open up the textures. Uh, from here, you'll want to go open Minecraft. Um, once this loads, uh, I might have to double click again, and you'll find yourself underneath here. You want to go to the drop down menu and find uh, Optifine. Uh, that will be the one that you will uh, play as. These are the ones I tried setting up before I could figure it out. You'll hit, uh, you'll just want to hit play underneath these options. So go here, click on Optifine, and hit play. Once you do that, your game will now load up. Once you do that, it actually you can do download the textures from here, or the shaders, I should say. I don't know why I keep saying textures. But this is where you're going to want to download those shaders. You can download it straight from this website. It makes it easier to find all the shaders that you want. You go to options. You go to video settings. And then you will go to shaders. This is where you can actually open and uh, transfer files. As you can see, I have two of the ones right here. Right here, you can see I have two shader packs. Open up the shader file. You can easily transfer these over using your other one so right here you can either download them through google or actually going here and clicking the down arrow leading you to a fandom page this will let you download all these types of textures this one right here um that is the uh chrontonium is the 4k ultra this one they have some other cool different textures you can try out but the one we're going to be downloading is actually the beyond belief the crematorium, every time I load it up, it just like melts my my GPU or something. It will not work. It's NVIDIA only, I think, possibly. The Beyond Belief is AMD and NVIDIA. So I'd recommend downloading that unless you have an NVIDIA graphics card. So right here, you'll go down here. There will be a download link over here. Uh, the latest one they have is actually 1.3.2. So no big deal, but there is some pretty cool and unique things and it looks really, really damn gorgeous. So you'll actually wait for this to download here and it will actually automatically download right to your thing. Once you do that, you can click on your Google search bar and op show in folder, basically wherever it's gonna go. So from this point, you'll take your download folder and your texture map, which you can just open up the shader folder here, either from Minecraft or if you've opened it already and just drag it into the folder I already have it there so I'm not gonna do it no big deal once you do that it should automatically pop up into here you can an turn anti-aliasing on which makes it a little bit slower process but makes it really nice looking uh, and I don't really know a whole lot of mumbo jumbo about all this shader stuff but obviously anti-aliasing is something that is gonna make your GPU run a little bit louder uh, and work a little bit harder, but I have a Radeon RX 580 and everything seems to be working with the Beyond Belief texture. The Crontonium, which is the 4K Ultra Ultra HD texture pack, does not want to work because I think I have an AMD graphics card. So keep that in mind when working on some of these. You'll want to keep close attention to all of this sort of stuff. I wanted to make sure everything was on quality if you there's some settings it won't let you do unless you're actually in the shaders option so keep that in mind and of course this will only work on versions 1.14.2 so keep that in mind 
it will take a little bit to load. This is all real-time loading, so keep that in mind as well. Once it loads, you are greeted with the most beautiful looking Minecraft I have ever witnessed. And to actually get this running on my computer, it uh, didn't take very long. I think this is currently running in windowed mode. Window mode always kind of slows down your computer a little bit. Uh, it is running at a uh, 41 to 37 FPS. So not really great, but when you're in windowed mode, you're at about 60 to 80 FPS with the Radeon RX 580. So if you have a little bit better or more of an equivalent version, your Minecraft will be running at no problem whatsoever. The damn game looks amazing. I've never seen Minecraft look this sexy. And this is my first time even going into uh, Minecraft with the type of shaders. My Minecraft on my laptop that I actually used to play Minecraft on was poo poo garbage. Let's just say that. This has got really good gr uh, grading. It's got FOV. It's got blurring effects when things get too close. It's got light going through the Minecraft trees. That's how good this texture pack is. It looks damn gorgeous. It's got solar flare. It's got everything on here. The only thing that's really missing is like God rays. <laughs> I mean, I would have liked to have gotten the uh, the contonium or whatever the hell that graphics thing is called because it looks really, really good. This one is probably the, the next best looking one that doesn't just totally wreck your GPU. I'm hopefully going to be reviewing some shader packs, but I wanted to let everyone know how to do their own shader packs because personally, this was my first run and I did not know how to do it up until now. I had to look up a few different guides and uh, some other YouTubers, so I will give them some credits down below. But I wanted to give everyone the best and quickest option to downloading Minecraft shaders. Uh, it doesn't take very long. I thought my guide was pretty thorough. If you guys have any questions on how to download this, make sure you drop a comment down below if for some reason you're not understanding some of these guides. Um, if not, let me know. Uh, Although, there will also be some troubleshooting options down below here. Uh, really, it's not too difficult to set up once you download Optiplex and uh, get Java. Basically, from there, it's pretty, pretty easy to set up. And like I said, in these clips, you'll see some FOV and some blurring effects here. And it's really, really gorgeous. Makes you want to play Minecraft even more. Not to mention, Minecraft has blown up severely these last you know, months. It's kind of weird, actually. But the game is running smooth as hell, looking smooth as hell. And I'm excited to show you guys how to do this in Minecraft. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys will look in the description for any of the uh, affiliates. Um, you know, some more shader packs maybe coming in the future. And some more Minecraft related content. So make sure you subscribe for the best Minecraft content out there. Tutorials and whatnot. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in another great Minecraft video. Peace out.